Hey, all you prayer warriors, David Franklin here, your state coordinator for the National Day of Prayer here in Georgia. Listen, this is such an honor and privilege for, for, for me to just work with you and to serve alongside of you. And what an awesome thing we saw this past year, the most events that we've ever seen in Georgia. But you know, we're not satisfied. So go ahead and make sure that you've got it marked on your calendar, May the 2nd, I know you do. 2019, an incredible theme, love one another. Dr. Floyd sought God for 21 days in prayer and fasting. Say, God, what is a theme that is simple and relevant and needed? It's so simple that everybody could catch it. And God gave him John chapter 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. That's going to be kind of our heartbeat all this next year, praying into and praying for the state of Georgia just to love one another. So I'm excited about that. I want to make sure that you've got it on your mind just as you head into this Christmas season. As you pray during Christmas, be praying for 2019 to love one another. And then as soon as January gets here to step in there and kick it up and make sure you connected everybody, talk to everybody, and start that process of making sure that your community has the strategy and the plan for the National Day of Prayer. But let me make sure you also pray into something. There's just something that your state team, God, has just laid on our heart. We don't want to be just a day of prayer, but a movement of prayer. Not just one day, but 365 days until Georgia becomes the most prayed for state in the union. I want to ask you to make sure you put that in your mind, to think, you know what, not just a day of prayer, but a movement of prayer to where we're the most prayed for state in the union. We actually got a hashtag, most prayed for. All our state team, man, we've been working hard. We think next year, 2019, is going to be the best year we've had. Guys, God is opening some doors behind the scene. Let me encourage you just to be in prayer for God to continue to open doors, and I'll be able to share hopefully some things with you come the first of the year. God's doing some incredible things in Georgia. We're asking him to step it up and take it to another level. And wouldn't it be just like God if they said about Georgia, Atlanta, all across Georgia, which you know our history, that we are the state that's the most prayed for and loves one another across the body of Christ, uh, across racial, denominational, ethnic lines, generational lines, that we love one another more than any other state in the union. And we can testify, hey, it's because we're the most prayed for state. So let me encourage you, be praying about that. And thank you for what you do in your heart for the state of Georgia and your heart for the nation and the, just prayer. God bless you because remember, intercessors are the ones that write history. So go have a great Christmas and look forward to getting to work with you 2019 in January, pointing toward May the 2nd. And then beyond to where we are, not just a day of prayer, but a movement of prayer. So Georgia becomes the most prayed for state in the union. God bless you and have a great Christmas.